I want to share all about my sewing table and the setup that I have. It's very simple, but I get questions about it a lot, so I wanted to put it all in one place in case you're looking for a setup for your own sewing machine and serger and all the tools that you have for sewing. I truly believe you don't need a dedicated, huge sewing space to make beautiful things from, but if you would like a dedicated table, then this is a great option. I use the IKEA Mitback trestles, and I have two of them, and then I have a tabletop. And on top of that, I have a cutting mat, and I've had this for years, and it's worked out so nicely. I've previously had a folding sewing table that was originally my mom's and it just wasn't in the best condition so I got rid of that and the simplified setup has just been great so you don't need anything super fancy the trestles are not very expensive the tabletop you can get at Ikea or you can even just get a wood tabletop at like the hardware store and if, especially if you're just putting a cutting mat on top you don't need anything fancy. With sewing, what I've found is if something is set up and ready for me to work on, then I am all the more inclined to just spend five to 10 minutes working on something than feel like it has to be this big thing that I have to pull out of the closet and get set up every time I wanna sit down and sew. So this can be done in a closet for you. It can be done at a table in your room, just Find a small corner of your home that's dedicated to the things that you love. I feel like you will just make so many more things that way. You'll get better through practice and you'll just find that space in those little pockets to slow down, enjoy the process, and really just be able to put your hands to making beautiful things. My table is wide enough to cut patterns out of and I usually cut them on the table and on the cutting mat but if something's super large or I'm making that original cut of a large piece then I will just cut it on the floor. This works perfectly for me to cut all my patterns out of. You can tell that my cutting mat is actually larger than my tabletop and that just doesn't bother me. It just hangs out on the edge and it isn't an issue. For you, you might want to make sure you get a cutting mat that is the exact size of your tabletop or just around there. It's personal preference. I've used this cutting mat for years since I've had my previous business, so it has served me a long time. Ikea has many tabletop options. I'll link some below. I would just go for the widest and the longest that you can find for your space and the trestles will just attach to the bottom. I love that the trestles can be adjusted so if you want to stand up and sew, that works great. I stand up a lot to sew, but I also have a stool so I can sit down and get to work and really focus and work on my posture, which I'm still working on. Another good thing about this setup is it isn't permanent. So even if you need to put it away for a little bit of time, it could easily be stored away. I also love that the bottom has little area that I can put baskets and extra storage. This would be a great spot to store fabric and even put your machines down there if you want. And I also love that the tabletop and the trestles leave space underneath. I have a filing cabinet, this rolling cart, and this is easy to store extra supplies, things that I'm working on. I try to keep the tabletop clean when I'm not using it. Of course, there are usually projects on top, but I usually keep this canvas light on top. This is good for when I'm filming videos. I can just snap my phone in the top. And then I leave my favorite tools and my sewing machine and my serger on top as well. I always have my baby lock sewing machine on top. It's something that has just served me well for many, many years. And my serger as well. It's nice to have these side by side and I can move them easily when I need to. And a new addition to my sewing tools are these LDH scissors. These are a dream. I have wanted these scissors for so long and I am so happy with just the quality and how satisfying it is to cut with these scissors. I have the midnight edition, the soft handles, and I also have the thread snips. I cannot recommend these enough. And then I also just keep out my sewing gauge, my pins, 
and a seam ripper because I seam rip a lot. <laughs> And when I need to iron something, I just pull out my iron, lay down this cloth in between the cutting mat and the iron to create a protective barrier, and it works well. I don't have a separate ironing station or ironing board, although I'm sure those would be helpful. It works for me to just pull it out of the closet. So hopefully this gave you some ideas on your own setup for sewing. I highly encourage you to keep your sewing machine where you can see it, where you can have a project out, even that if that is a corner of a bedroom or a small space in your home, I think you will be so surprised at how often you go to it. And it kind of just is this open invitation to always be making something. And I love to encourage that here on my channel. So if you have any questions about sewing setup, table, anything, let me know and if you want to see a full tour of my sewing shed then you can watch this next video. Mm -hmm.